Difficult year for Coach Keats. They've had nine different starting lineups in 15 games, so trying to find some level of continuity. Gary A. Gerard trails on the dribble. And here is Griffin step in two from the left. Alan Griffin on the board. Awesomeness that Jim Beheim wants on that back line to be able to get out of passing lanes as well as be able to get back and rebound on the defensive end of the floor. Cam Hayes has only got 11 threes on the year. He misses there, and Gerard answers at the other end. Buckets off the NC State misses. Yeah, but with there a couple of the orange that we may not see tonight, and Kadari Richmond being one of those guys who is ill coming into the game. Played 18 minutes nine days ago, had just a single point in the trip to the Dome. He'll launch a three for the lead, and it's good. Cam Hayes' 12th triple of the year. The shooting nine, has gotten eight early. Great start for both teams. Cam Hayes knocking down the three from the top of the key. And Five to shoot for the Orange. Gerard skips it to Bayheim. Three away and good for Buddy Bayheim's first points. DJ Funderburg comes away with a rebound. He's come onto the floor to replace Bates during the timeout for the Wolfpack. Helms of three gets the bottom of the bucket. The first time we've seen Helms where he's not on the interior of that zone. And you see Coach Beheim going to put the ball in Dolajai's hands, allow him to handle against the pressure. And, of course, he gets another assist where he's the second-leading assist man. And that's one of the areas that's going to be probably the toughest pick this year in the ACC honors is who is most improved. We talk about Isaiah Wong. You've got Gary, of course, Matthew Hurt, and Nate Leshesky. And Cornette will join me at noon from Blacksburg with the Ville and the Hokies and then B.C. Syracuse to follow. Second meeting of the year between the Eagles and the Orange. There's our doubleheader starting at high noon on ACC Network. I mishandles it, but Griffin's right there to be able to pick it up and not just gather the possession, but score the basketball as well. Underberg inside, he's got a second field goal. Into those passing lanes, his two steals of the game are third in the ACC, so he definitely makes him a better defensive team. But no defense for D.J. Funderburg when he catches it that close to the rim. Nice drive by Shaquille Moore. Lead quickly to four for Coach Keats in the Wolfpack. Almost nine minutes gone first half. Griffin to Richmond. Shot fake, slips it inside. Catch and lay up for Dolezal. Boy, nice pass out of the double team by Bates. Moore on the drive, and it banged out of there. Here's the orange. Trailing by two, and Griffin looking for the tie and gets it on the layup. Six for Allen Griffin. I'm disappointed, WD. I think he got a hand on that one. <laughs> Here's Bates, a soft jumper off the baseline. First points of the night. Entry for Helms at the foul line. Skip and a three from the corner, and Hayes rings the bell again. Six for Cam Hayes. The size, he's able to see the open passes. Oftentimes, you'll see Syracuse defenders trying to get back and steal those passes. That time, not quick enough. There we go. There's my guy. <laughs> Almost jumped out my chair, WD. Recognize when you play against the pack, you got to know where 15 is at all times. Boy, that could happen for NC State and becoming a much better, much improved offensive player. He is a force to be reckoned with for the pass. Three ball away. Allen Griffin has got nine. Gary A. Cutting is Gerard who lays it in. Another entry to the post and Hellams. Nice move in traffic because Dolezal got his own rebound. And the dunk followed by Bates after two misses. He's the guy that has to play one-on-one, -on -one and someone else has to get back in there to rebound. But none of the guys from Syracuse are going to be able to contend with Manny Bates when the ball is right at the front of the rim. Three of his last eight from the floor. You know, Beverly's been battling a number of small nagging issues throughout this injuries throughout this year. And he's not playing at 100%. Well, the one thing that you would assume that he's going to improve on is the offensive end. But look at him defensively. He is amazing at the top of that zone. And again, that is Syracuse basketball. That is the type of athlete. And Kadari Richmond gets them back to that. He's putting up Tyler Ennis numbers. Back-to-back -back steals look for at this. Richmond. <laughs> there you go. Richmond's now got six in a row for the Orange. And Kevin Keats needs a timeout. Well, to shoot, and Griffin was hot early. Tried to slip it back to Bayham, got through traffic, skipped for Griffin's three. Got it. 
Or Wolfpack needs a bucket going to the locker room if nothing else, Corey. There's a Beverly to Thunderbird for what? A basket and a foul. He led Syracuse with 14 in the first half. Deep three. And Dolezal gives the Orange a second chance. Beheim knocks it down. It's an area of concern for Kevin Keats is making sure when you get a defensive stop, you finish the play. Ooh. Speaking of finishing, that's a big time block. That sure game. was. Battles every time out. And look at him right now, guarding Dolezal, giving up a foot, but yet not going to give any way to Dolezal trying to back him down. And one for Beheim. Trying yep. to get a win. Wolfpack needs a basket down six, and the three ball good out of the corner for Thomas Allen. Both just dapping each other up. And still continue to go after. Dolaja, nice touch for his second field goal. Yeah, he took, he has, is 0 for 2, I believe, this year from three. And maybe two, made one correct. Three, yeah, made one three-pointer last year as Braxton Beverly knocks down the three. Coached against Braxton Beverly about five years ago when he was at Hargrave and he was playing the point guard position and handling the basketball. Buddy's got three threes tonight. Buddy waved Gary away because he was going to take Beverly and <laughs> rightfully so. Yep. Now, as Braxton Beverly takes a break, but he sees Beheim starting to get hot. Oh, the knife behind the back. And miss, but Gary to follow on the dunk for his second field goal. Kadari Richmond back in the game, which means that there probably will be at least one more turnover because he's subject to take the ball from NC State at some point. First points of the second half for Allen Griffin give him 17. Here's Helms. Back in the corner, Thomas Allen a three. Dolja backing down Allen. Here's Gary A. And it may have gotten blocked partially by Thunderbird, but it had enough on it to fall in. Skip for Moore. Little runner with a left hand. Shaquille Moore's first field goal. It's going to be interesting to see which team can do both yep. and come away with the win here in the remaining 11 minutes. Inside Gary the catch, and it rattles in for it. WD, I was looking at that list pretty good today. But, I mean, again, it, it's like... It's Jerry Mack and everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> See six fouls on the orange. Here's Allen, Beverly. Inside Bates. Manny Bates on the board first time second half. Now with a half dozen. Well, the orange played briefly in the ball game nine days ago against these Wolfpack. The Braswell knocked down four three-pointers against Pittsburgh for 12 points, and he's lining up one right now and knocks it, it down. NC State guards Syracuse with both bigs on the floor. That means you've got Thunderbird having to guard Braswell, who's going to be looking for three as Griffin knocks down another three. Now you look the other end. That's a 6-0 run for Syracuse on the other end of the floor, knocking down back-to-back -back threes over the last 35 seconds. And now you want to be playing your best basketball, not only heading into the tournament, but to show the committee that you are playing better basketball. Dolajai, and now Buddy Beheim with 10 to shoot. And the rebound, Gary A scores. Let's take about Gary. Yeah, he worked for that one, no question about it. Offensive rebound and then getting on balance to be able to finish it off. Second chance points. And remember, Gary A playing with those four fouls. After nine in the first half to tie for scoring honors with Thunderbird. Helms has 11. Beheim again in traffic. Got the bounce. 19th turnover. Syracuse a five-point lead. They've scored 19 points off the Wolfpack turnovers, and there goes Griffin in traffic, rebounds his own miss, and scores. Once again, looking to get Allen in the post. With Griffin, Griffin taking advantage of it once again. The roadies win tonight. Notre Dame over at Cameron, Syracuse here in Raleigh, Corey. And the Orange picks up their fifth league win in 11th on the season.